If you saw the bike check of my Canyon Torque 29, then you know today is the ride review. It is an enduro bike, so therefore it climbs like a billy goat. <laughs> and it descends like a cheetah. That's it, what, what more do you need to know? All right, all right, so seriously, we're going to get to the ride review. However, before we jump into that, I've got to cover the few changes that I've made to it. The most obvious one is my new fork that I installed up front. So we've got the Marzocchi Bomber Z1 coil, and this is the same fork that I had on my previous bike. I love the coil. In addition to the fork change, I also swapped out the cassette. This is an SLX cassette instead of the stock Dior. Saves a little bit of weight, and I had it, so why not? I also took the tubes out of these tires, switched the tubeless, and I tossed an insert into the rear. I'm still waiting to get one for the front. Funny story about that. Literally first ride, I was one minute into the descent and I punctured the rear. I wasn't expecting that to happen. With a double down and especially with an insert, I suppose it's my fault. I must have been running too low of a pressure. Now I'm running higher pressures and so far it's been good, but I've also got heavier inserts on the way. Another change that I made is these bars came 800 mil from the factory. And even though I've got super long arms, I prefer 780. So I cut these bars down to 780. That's running great. And then I also swapped out that awful stock saddle and I put a WTB Silverado saddle on. It's just one that I've used in the past and it works well for me. That's enough about the upgrades. Let's get to why we're here. And that is because we're gonna talk about riding. And I want you guys to know, I've already done a lot of riding on this bike. When I give you my first hand review and my first ride review, I wanna make sure that it's actually informed and that I've gotten familiar with the bike. Really excited to tell you guys about it. So let's get to it. So, in a few words, how does it ride? Composed, predictable, comfortable, and freaking fast. So first things first, this bike fits me like a glove. It is amazing and I feel at peace with the bike immediately. I feel so comfortable and confident. Now, as you know, all rides start with a climb and this bike, it actually climbs pretty dang well. The seat tube angle on this thing is freaking steep. It's 78 degrees. Initially, it felt a little bit unnatural, but I've since adapted to it and now I love it. It's so comfortable and it is designed for doing one thing only and that is going straight uphill so that way I can turn around and come straight back downhill. The bike feels really good climbing. It doesn't feel like it's a 170, 170 travel bike. However, you can't forget this bike still weighs almost 38 pounds and no matter what, it's gonna be a bit heavy on the climbs, but as long as you have the fitness for it, this thing will take you up and down all day long. Additionally, it's my first time back on the wagon wheels in a while, and the 29ers, as everybody knows, they like to climb. It's really nice having this big wheel out back again compared to the 27.5, and it also just wants to eat on the downhill. And no longer am I dealing with that small rear wheel, feeling like it's getting hung up in the chunky stuff, and this 29er just rolls over everything. One thing I wasn't anticipating with the bike is the Dior brakes. Initially out of the box, the stopping power isn't quite the same as what I've experienced with SLX and XT. Everything I've read says it should be identical with the four piston Dior's. However, I think that might just be the pads or rotors might have some contamination. So I'm gonna clean those up and see if that does the trick. An aspect of riding that I haven't gotten to do a lot of yet with this bike is jumping at least not big jumps anyways. However, the bike parks here in Italy are already starting to open, so we'll be mobbing some flow trails and hitting some big jumps in no time. I have hit some decent sized drops, including Hux to Flat, and so far, every time, it has felt basically bottomless. This 170 mil travel in the rear is wonderful, and it doesn't feel like there's too intense of a progressive ramp up at the end of travel. It's just really smooth throughout. I'm super excited for bike park season. And Cindy for the boys. 
One major concern that I had was cornering and switchbacks, especially the super tight corners that we have here in Europe. I'm ecstatic to report that this bike still feels nimble through them, which I was not anticipating. And to be honest with you, I don't even understand how that's possible. This bike is 30 mil longer than my class was. It's 29er front and rear, and somehow it still manages through corners with ease, which is amazing. And that means one thing, Canyon nailed the geometry on this bike. In the couple of weeks that I've been riding the Torque, I've also had my first crash. And aside from a scratch brake lever, I gotta say, the bike fared well. So I'm really happy about that. My finger, on the other hand, my finger got pretty messed up. So that's everything that I've been experiencing with my Torque thus far and how it rides. If there's any specific ride characteristics that you want me to touch on further, feel free to hit me up in the comments. As for today, that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and tell me where to ride next. So we've got the Marzocchi Bomber Z1 coil, and this is the same bike that I had on my, and this is the same bike that I had on my previous bike.